are you preparing for gate biotechnology examination and are you really worried what all books to refer in the case you want to score good and you want to have a higher rank in gate biotechnology examination here i am to help you to refer some good books hello everyone myself diksha shandele from biotechnica and today i'm here to help you in finding some really good books which can aid your preparation for the gate biotechnology examination so so firstly i have divided the syllabus of gate biotechnology examination so the first section is engineering mathematics so when you start from the engineering mathematics i have divided section 1 separately which i have mentioned in a different ppt in a different slide sorry and the second section to the seventh section i have mentioned here which comes under the biotechnology section so the second section is general biology that comes uh, consist of biochemistry microbiology as well as immunology the third section is genetics cellular and molecular biology the fourth section is fundamentals of biological engineering the fifth section is bioprocess engineering and process biotechnology the sixth section is plant animal and microbial biotechnology as well as the seventh section is recombinant dna technology and other tools in biotechnology so these sections i have elaborated through this table and you can find that biochemistry microbiology as well as immunology comes under your general microbiology general biology section genetics evolutionary biology cell biology and molecular biology comes under your section 3 bio uh, medical engineering comes under section 4 bioprocess engineering comes in section 5 plant and animal biotechnology comes under section 6 and recombinant dna technology as well as other tools in biology comes under section 7 so once we start with the preparation many students ask what book to refer for engineering mathematics so in that situation you are preparing for engineering mathematics separately and you are not a uh, engineering student you are not a biotech student who have studied their uh, engineering mathematics or basic mathematics part during the first semester so, and so so if you are not that student you will really uh, find it difficult to start your preparation with engineering mathematics but Uh, i have found that math mathematics for gate biotechnology by sanjukta chakraborty is a really nice book to refer especially if you are starting from the basics and you have a little knowledge about uh, the engineering mathematics background especially calculus and other stuff so in that situation mathematics for gate biotechnology so basically they will have a separate question for the engineering mathematics section of gate biotechnology because since we know gate is also conducted in mathematics separately so if you are going to any standard book there would be lot of concepts referring to engineering mathematics but you need to have certain chapters only because there those certain chapters are only important for your gate bt section so you need to pick only those uh, chapters that are really important for the gate bt section still if you are uh, finding it difficult to refer to any uh, uh, help book and you want to go to a reference book and you want to learn in engineering mathematics you can ha uh, you can learn from this book uh, general aptitude engineering mathematics 2022 by pearson publication so you can refer to this book but ideally if you are uh, preparing for gate biotechnology and you want to go to certain topics only uh, concerned with uh, gate bt engineering mathematics section you can surely refer, refer to this book now comes the biology section so once biochemistry comes in our mind we always say we should refer to leninger so there is a reason behind it so basically leninger has a good concepts uh, clarity especially if you start with uh, what uh, amino acid you go to uh, the thermodynamic part or you go to enzyme kinetics or you go to metabolic pathways leninger has given uh, everything very much detailed explained really well and if you have to re uh, refer to those concepts straight away you can directly refer to leninger there is one another book void and void that you should uh, you can also refer but uh, leninger i will prescribe because leninger has a better sorted clarification uh, regarding some of the topics that are important for your gate pt examination the second part is 
microbiology so when microbiology uh, subject comes in my mind like people say go for uh, prescott or tura that is really nice book those books are really good for your reference studies but if you want to prepare for microbiology in a short span of time because uh, microbiology is equally important in gate life sciences as well as gate bt so if you are a student who is preparing for gate life sciences you will have a certain amount of marks weightage for microbiology in that situation you should you can't refer to a huge book a huge reference book because it will have a lot of concept which you can't refer in a short amount of time so in the case you want to refer to microbial kinetic growth kinetics or uh, microbial genetics in a short span of time you should really really read this book this book is really recommendable for the students of both gate bt and gate life sciences the next comes immunology so immunology we always say uh, immunology won't have that much of a weightage in gate bt examination actually they don't put that much of questions but is it is actually important for you to not miss those questions that come in gate bt examination so in order to go through all the concepts you can refer to a standard book qb immunology this book is really good for your standard reference along with it you can refer to any instant notes or you can refer to pyqs if you feel immunology you haven't studied and then it's difficult for you to start with a reference book you can go to any instant notes and you can refer the pyqs now the next section is section 3 so section 3 starts with cell biology so for cell biology alberts is a basic standard book which students refer but uh, i have found that especially in the case of uh, signaling cascades or in the case of uh, the, there are certain experiments that uh, are related to cell division related to signaling cascades or membrane biology that has been well explained in cooper so they have a very clear classification with detailed diagrammatic explanation so you can refer to cooper for basic cell biology you can even re even refer to lodish but uh, cooper i have found is really good if you want to mug up the concepts using the diagrammatic and charts the next one is microbiology sorry molecular biology so molecular biology for the section such as dna replication uh, transcription translation uh, dna repair mechanism leninger has given it very well you can easily refer to leninger for those concepts it is given in very much detail and uh, very neatly explained especially if you want uh, the section such as repair mechanism types of repair and then go, you are going to uh, replication transcription protein synthesis modifications and all but if you want detailed explanation of genes uh, detailed explanation of their structure detailed explanation of operon model detailed explanation of uh, certain interdisciplinary part of the gene like how they are cloned uh, how they are related to rdt in that situation you can refer to lewin's gene tool this is a very very nice book especially uh, for the topics that i have mentioned right now so you can refer to uh, lewin's gene tool the next one is classical genetics so once come once we say about classical genetics or inheritance biology so the only thing that comes in our mind is mendelian genetics but there are certain more things except mendelian genetics that are a part of inheritance biology so principle of genetics is a really neat uh, new news it's a really good book to refer to uh, it is published by veli student edition so principle of genetics will have all the details about the classical mendelian genetics uh, the contradictions of mendelian genetics complementary gene analysis if you go to holiday model and homologous recombination and uh, then population genetics they have given it in really detail and you can easily refer to those books and solve the questions from the concept that you raise so these were the book from from the section 3 the section 4 you can refer to thermodynamic part and all those uh, chemistry part you can refer to any standard chemistry book also you can refer to basically leninger and voit and voit you don't need to refer to any chemistry book because that would be a bit hectic for you if you are not a chemistry student so you can refer to leninger they have uh, the, those part really explained well you, you, uh, you can refer to voit and voit too now for the section 5 Section five is bioprocess engineering. Especially if you are preparing for gate biotechnology examination, this section is really, really important. 
Why is it? Because most of the numerical aptitude question comes from bioprocess engineering. And bioprocess engineering is a part which doesn't even require, which not only requires your conceptual clarity, but requires how attentively you solve and practice the questions. So you need to have a detailed grip on bioprocess engineering, especially if you are preparing for GATE BT examination. I'm repeating again, this section is really scoring for GATE BT examination. But most of the time what happens, students find it difficult because most of the students who come and give GATE BT are from life science background, from non-biotechnology non background. So if you are not from an engineering background and you are not from a biotechnology background, you are a core classical zoology, botany or a life science student, it be difficult for you to prepare but still you can really really score well because I have recommended this book bioprocess engineering kinetic sustainability and reactor design um, published by Xavier so this is a really good book if you have want a reference material in bioprocess engineering but before going to a reference material if you are not really exposed to bioprocess engineering you can learn your basics from a basic uh, book that can give you you know a basic conceptual clarity upon bioprocess engineering because referring to straight away a high standard reference book will be really not helpful to you so in that case if you want your basics done if you want your basics in fermentation technology bioprocess engineering or how the reactors are designed how how what are the types of aeration uh, what all the equations are there in uh, in, in the case of bioprocess engineering, if you want to know, you can refer to B.D. Singh. B.D. Singh is a really good book. The title of the book is Biotechnology Expanding the Horizons by B.D. Singh. So you can refer to this book, build your concept, get an idea, and then you can refer to this standard book, Bioprocess Engineering. Okay, so these were the book that I recommend for section 5. Now comes the section 6. For section 6, plant and animal biotechnology. So as I have mentioned, Plant and animal biotechnology is again a bit different for the student who are not from a biotech or a engineering background. So basically those students who have done BTech in biotechnology, BS in biotechnology, they are mostly exposed to these subjects and the botany uh, people might know about plant biotechnology, the zoology people might know about the annual biotechnology but both of the thing club together you should know about both both of the subject in order to appear for gate bt so if uh, you are a physiology student plant or annual physiology student and you feel you can crack the question of uh, plant and animal biotechnology then it, it is not going to help you because both are really different from each other physiology and biotechnology like plant physiology and plant biotechnology have a really broad and different aspect so if you are a botany student, you can refer to plant biotechnology. If you are a zoology student, you can refer to animal biotechnology. So in the case, if you are not exposed to animal biotechnology and you want to study animal biotechnology, I won't recommend you to go through a standard book because in that case, your preparation, uh, cap your capacity to prepare and uh, to hold a grip upon uh, the subjects will be lower because you are referring to a new subject which is entirely different from your syllabus that you have studied for the past two year in the master and three year in the graduation. So if you are a zoology student, go for animal biotechnology and on go for PYQ. If you are a botany student, go for plant biotechnology and uh, PYQ. And still, if you feel you can uh, cover both of the subject, then it is really nice. Uh, you should cover both of the subject. It will enhance your score. So these were the books I would refer. The plant biotechnology, I would refer BD Singh. And there's one more book, Plant Biotechnology by HS Chavla. You can refer that book too. For animal biotechnology, there is model and discovery and translation by Elsevier. So you can, uh, no, it's not by Elsevier, Ashish S. Verma and Archil Singh. So you can uh, really uh, refer to this book. These Both of the books are really necessary uh, for your uh, plant and animal biotechnology preparation. This last and the seventh section is methods in biology. So your methods in biology comprises of your recombinant DNA technology as well as tools and techniques in biotechnology. So 
for recombinant DNA technology, you can refer to Lewin's, you can refer to Sam Brook, you can refer to Gene Cloning and Analysis by T.A. Brown. So this book has a really good concept related to DNA libraries, related to uh, vectors, cloning vectors, how they work. So these uh, concepts, you will get it clear by Gene Cloning and DNA Analysis by T.A. Brown. T.A. Brown. So the next one is Tools and Techniques in uh, Biology. So Except the recombinant technology part, if you want to learn about electrophoresis, spectroscopy, chromatography, and certain tools and techniques, you can refer to principles and techniques in biochemistry and molecular biology by Keith Wilson and John Walker. So Wilson and Walker, it's a really famous book. You want to go through the practical application of biology, but tools and techniques of biotechnology, you can refer to this book. So both for RDT and for the tools and technique, because they comes under the same section, you can refer to these two books. Uh, additionally, you can refer to any uh, standard books such as Leninger, you can refer, you can refer to uh, Sam Brook, you can refer to uh, Lewin's uh, Gene 12, you can refer to any book that, that is, you know, uh, according to your need, according to your uh, interest, you should feel interested in reading those books. So these were the books that I recommend for your preparation, for the gate BT examination that is coming in February. But except those books, because those are standard books, you should refer to certain other things also. And the first and foremost, and the prior most thing to refer is practicing the previous year question. Practicing the previous year question is important because once you are practicing the previous year question, you are really going through the trend of the question that are being asked by the IITs that who conduct the gate examination. So the trend of the subjects, the trend of the question that are being asked from the subject is really important. So in order to know what all topics hold a certain vintage in a gate BT examination, you should really know the syllabus and you should really know what all questions are coming every year? What all questions are being repeated? So that idea you will get from practicing the PYQ. Believe me, if you are referring to all the certain uh, reference book and if you are not solving the practice or practicing the PYQ, then you are not being benefited by the knowledge you are gaining because having a correct strategy and knowing how to implement it is really important. Accept your conceptual clarity. So even if you have all the concept known, you don't know how to approach the examination, your score wouldn't get high. And so you should always practice the PYQ. The second thing is you should prepare a schedule because there are certain lot of units there. In the case so many of units are available, you have to know when and how to approach certain unit and when to solve the question, what time slot you should make to solve the question, giving each every section an equal weightage or a higher weightage to the section you find more interesting. So preparing a schedule will help you in building a strategy for your preparation. So it is really important. The third practice is Practicing the numerical. So why I'm saying practicing the numerical is important because gate BT have a very good weightage of numericals. So if you don't know how to practice the numerical, you won't be able to uh, solve the question or you, you might miss by certain decimal point and your answer will get wrong. So for especially for numerical aptitude, NAT test, Practicing the numerical is very necessary because only solving the MCQs won't give you a higher rank because there are certain more students. There are many students who know how to solve the MCQ. So MCQs is scoring for everyone. So in the case you want to score more, you should practice the numerical because practicing the numerical will only lead to your higher rank. The last one is solving the mock series. So basically when we approach examination, especially in the case of a gate BT, once sometimes students who are giving the examination for the first time gets confused when they see the computer screen, when they see how to manage the question. So in that situation, they, they sometimes don't know how to calculate a log value. So in the case you are not knowing how to calculate a log value and you are sitting and practicing a numerical, you are sitting and solving a numerical, your answer would be wrong. So you should know how to use the calculator. You should know what all sections are there, how to approach each one of them, how to switch the section, what all question will come, how the question will come. So you should have that framework in your mind before the examination so that once you sit and start the, uh, the examination, you won't be confused sitting and thinking about how to approach the examination. You will be having an idea how to use a calculator, how to use ad log values, anti log values, how to start uh, sec from, uh, should you start from uh, section C or section B or NAT, MSQ, how to approach MSQ question. So you should have that strategy and that plan 
planning in your mind that will only come if you solve the mock series or else you will be blank once you see the examination you once you see the computer screen and for 15 minutes you will be confused knowing about the pattern of the examination so you shouldn't waste your time because you are allotted hardly two hours so in that situation you should really know you should sit tactically and approach the examination at the right time and you should score well and that is really important i wish you all the best for the upcoming gate bt examination i hope you have liked this video